उटरेट All those points we are going to discuss in this class today. All right. So this was the homework question which I gave you in the last class. It says that if AB is equal to AC is equal to CD and angle ADC is equal to 38 degree, calculate the value of angle ABC and angle BC. So angle ADC, that means this angle is given as 38 degree. All right. So see, listen carefully. But I know that see, first thing first. AC and CD are equal. So if it is if ACD is an isosceles triangle, I can say if it this angle is 38 degree, this angle will also be 38 degree. Clear? By angle A and angle D will be equal. Angle A, angle CAD and angle CDA will be equal because AC is equal to CD isosceles triangle. So if it is 38, if it is 38, if I use angles of property over here, I can get this complete angle ACD. I can get this complete angle acd so it will be equal to 104 degrees it will be equal to 104 degrees all right 38 plus 38 is 76 so 180 minus 76 is 104 so if this angle is 104 now i can say ki sir this angle this remaining angle will be what 180 minus 104 that is equal to 76 if it is 76 i know ac and ab are also equal so this angle will also be equal to 76 degree So I got to know the first answer. Angle ABC is equal to seventy-six degree. Now angle BEC you want. You want angle BEC. So what I did, beta, I told that sir, I know. But you see, sir, if it is seventy-six, it is seventy-six. So seventy-six plus seventy-six will be equal to how much? Six plus six, twelve power one, fourteen, one fifty-two. One fifty-two. So 180 minus 152. This angle will be remaining. That angle will be that 180 minus 152. So 180 minus 152 will be equal to 28 degrees. And because since BC is a chord, angles in the same segment are equal. So this will also be equal to 28 degrees. All right. So angle ABC we have got it as 76 degree, and angle BEC we have got it as 28 degrees. All right. You can write the explanation. I have just ex explained this part. In the diagram, all right. You can write the explanation on your own. Okay. Now let's move ahead. In which we are talking about the properties based on tangent and secant. This is the uh, this is the diagram. Uh, this is the schedule right now. And today we'll be doing about circle circles two. Next session will be on mensuration. Okay. Then trigonometry, statistics, and probability. All right. This is the schedule of physics, chemistry. Biology, SST, and English. All right. So let us start the class. This is with a good quote. Do today what should be done. Your tomorrow may never come. This is a very good saying that tomorrow never comes. So always remember, if you want to do something, the time, the best time for doing it is always today, right now. Don't procrastinate that. Okay, I'll start doing it from tomorrow, or I'll start doing it from one week. That tomorrow will never come. All right. So whatever you want to do, start doing it from today. Now let us start with the question. The first question is: Radius of a circle is eight centimeter. Calculate the length of a tangent drawn to this circle from a point at a distance of ten centimeter from its center. Okay, beta. So we have this circle over here. Okay. Now radius of a circle is eight centimeter. Radius is eight centimeter. And length of tangent drawn from us from on this circle from a point at a distance of ten centimeter from the center. So from the center, the point from where we have drawn the tangent is 10 centimeter away. Okay, let's say radius is 8. This is 10. O, A, B. Okay, so we have to find out the length of the tangent. That means what is A, B? Simple thing. We know radius at the point of contact is perpendicular to the tangent. So A, B square will be equal to A, O square minus O, B square. Pythagoras theorem. You will get this as 6 centimeter. Very easy question. 10 square minus 8 square. So thirty six square root of thirty six is six. All right, very easy. Next part, ABC is a right angle triangle with AB equal to twelve. AB is twelve. AC is thirteen. 
so i can clearly say sir if ab is equal to 12 and ac is equal to 13 and since it is a right angle triangle i can say sir ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square so solving this you will get bc as 5 cm okay bc will be equal to 5 cm now circle with center o has been inscribed inside the triangle ab dekho kaise inscribe kiya hua beta you can clearly see yahan pe ol and om they are perpendicular radius at the point of contact is perpendicular to the tangent do angles 90 degree okay beta this angle is already given 90 because it is a right angle triangle so obviously 90 plus 90 plus 90 if i find out the remaining angle this angle is also 90 okay now if all the four angles are 90 degree that means it is a rectangle and it is a rectangle in which ol and om adjacent sides are equal so in a rectangle if two adjacent sides are equal it will become a square but you see, if it is a rectangle where all angles are 90 degree, if it is R, this will also be equal to R. And if it is R, this is also equal to R. So it is a square. It is what? It is a square. So now what I'm telling you, we have to find out the value of X, the radius of the inscribed circle. Chalo, X radius, we have to take it as X. Let us take it as X. Let us take the radius as X. Take X x x and x all right so i got to know that this olbm olbm is a square as all angles are 90 degree and adjacent pair of sides were equal adjacent pair of sides are equal Okay, so all these are equal to x. But they go both easy, a simple si baat hai. Let us say, sir, you part x. Ho so this remaining part will be 12 minus x. Because total side is 12 minus x. So you will get 12 minus x. So this remaining a n also will be 12 minus x. Because radius from the point of con sorry, radius from an external point are equal in length. Okay, so you are 12 minus a So this one is also 12 minus x. Similarly, bc is 5. If this to this is x, I can say remaining is 5 minus x. So remaining this nc part will also be equal to 5 minus x. Okay? Now, dekho, AC is equal to 13. So I can say, ki, sir, AC. AC is equal to 13. AC I can write as an plus nc is equal to 13. An I have got it as 12 minus x. And our radius from an external point are equal in length. So al and an were equal 12 minus x. And here 5 minus x is equal to 13. So 12 plus 5. 12 plus 5. Yaha pe hai x. Here it is x. Alright. So here also it is x. So this one is 12 minus x. This is also 12 minus x. And if it is x, remaining is 5 minus x. So this is also 5 minus x. So 12 plus 5. Oh, simple, simple. So 12 plus 5 is what 17 minus 2x is equal to 13 shift it over there minus 2x is equal to minus 4 x is equal to 2 so the radius of the inscribed circle is equal to what 2 centimeter as simple as that all right so the radius is 2 centimeter all right next question if the sides of a quadrilateral abcd touch a circle prove that ab plus cd is equal to bc plus ad but they go simple si baat hai beta. since everywhere I can see that these are the tangents from an external point. Let's say P, Q, R, and S. So I can say AS and AP will be equal. BP and BQ will be equal. CQ and CR will be equal. DR and DS will be equal. Radius from an external point are equal in length. All right. So let us write these things. I have to create AB plus CD. All right. So first thing that I can say AP is equal to as then i can say bp is equal to bq so they go ap plus bp will become ab now how do i create cd so then i can say sir cr is equal to cq and then i can say dr is equal to ds so if i add all these equations the reason is radius from an external point are equal in length so ap plus bp will become ab cr plus dr will become cd is equal to as plus ds will become ad 
and BQ plus CQ will become BC and hence proved khatam question nothing else all right this is how this question will be done okay next question coming to your way is this tangents AP and AQ are drawn to a circle okay with center O so I have drawn tangents AP and AQ let's say it is P let's say it is Q over here and this is the center O this is A prove that twice of angle P P A Q okay is equal to sorry angle P A Q is equal to twice of angle O P Q okay so I need to join them as well okay we have to prove that this angle is double of this angle all right to better they go by first thing I know over here Sarji this angle APO complete angle APO is 90 and angle AQO is 90 because radius at the point of contact is perpendicular to the tangent. So angle APO is equal to angle AQO both are equal to 90 degree. So in quadrilateral PAQO in PAQO I can say 90 plus angle PAQ plus 90 degree plus angle POQ is equal to 360 degree angles of property for a quadrilateral so we got angle PAQ plus angle POQ is equal to 180 degree 90 plus 90 is 180 shift it over there 360 minus 180 is 180 only first equation okay second part beta what I saw ki sir in triangle OPQ <coughs> in triangle OPQ I know OP is equal to OQ because both are equal to radius so if it is true then I can say sir angle OPQ is equal to angle OQP they both must be equal all right this angle and this angle they both are equal in um, equal in measurement so now I can say if I use angles of property so I can say angle POQ plus angle OPQ plus angle OQP is equal to 180 degree so angle OPQ and angle OQP are same so I can say angle POQ and angle OQP I can write as angle OPQ only so it will become two times of angle OPQ is equal to 180 degree all right this is my second equation now both the equations are equal to 180 degree so I can equate them so one equation is angle PAQ plus angle POQ is equal to here angle POQ plus twice of angle OPQ because both were equal to 180 degree what I have done angle 1 is equal to angle 2 so angle POQ to POQ got cancelled we can clearly say angle PAQ is twice of angle OPQ Khatam, nothing what else all right so first I have used angles of property in the quadrilateral PAQO and then I have used angles of property in triangle POQ and equated both the equations because both the equations RHS was equal to 180 degree made them equal I have got my answer that angle PAQ is twice of angle OPQ as simple as that all right now before I move ahead let me tell you one thing that uh, right now Vedantu at Vedantu you have a very wonderful opportunity of joining Vedantu Pro subscription and the discount is maximum at this time that is 50% off all right so what you're going to get in the Vedantu Pro subscription is unlimited high level quizzes okay unlimited live classes sorry you can attend as many live classes as you want and all the classes are going to be filled with fun and high level quizzes all right after that you will be able to compete with the students throughout the world and interactive replays that means you can uh, suppose <coughs> if suppose you are watching the replay of any class suppose you missed the class because of some reason if you are watching the replay in that also you will be able to attend the quizzes and see your name in the leaderboard if you are answering correctly so that is the feeling which will so by doing the interactive replay you will not feel like you are watching a recording and you will feel like you are watching the classes only all right whatever the teacher is teaching you will be able to get this as notes and uh, there will be a dedicated teacher to take care of your doubts and uh, test and assignments will be shared with you in the periodical time and assignments will be shared after every session all right other than that there are 5000 plus micro courses and uh, crash courses also which will be free of cost no need to pay anything extra for all of that all right so right now you are getting 50 percentage off the link is mentioned in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment let me show you how can you register for it all right so 
Suppose if you go to the YouTube, all right, you will go to YouTube and you will go to Vedanto 9th and 10th channel. All right, suppose you have reached over here. This is the, <coughs> all right. Okay, this is the link video you have opened. Now, in this part, show more if you'll do. In the description box, here it is shown. See, subscribe to Vedanto Pro now over here. Or you can come to the pinned comment also. Here also link is over given. All right. So you can go to any of those link. Just go to that link. Click on that. All right. Now you'll come to this page here. Click on grade 10th. Then ICSC 2021. All right. Here click on proceed to pay. Once you click on proceed to pay, here apply the coupon code GPE Pro. Once you'll apply GPE Pro, you will get 50% off. These are the methods of payment with which you can do the payment. All right, so that is a very good opportunity. All the subjects will be covered under it. Once you register, you will see your classes like this for all the subjects. You can go to the past classes where you can download the notes of what you have studied in the previous class. Okay, you can download the notes as well over here in the teacher's handwriting. Then you can click on the button replay to watch the replay of that class. And if you will click on this try alternate replay, you will be able to attend the quizzes as well. All right. So all these features you are going to get in this price. So very important thing. And remember, it is covering all subjects, maths, physics, chemistry, biology, SST, English, everything. All right. So very good opportunity right now. Now let's go for the next question. In the given figure, PT touches the circle with center O. PT is a tangent. Touches the circle means PT is a tangent with center O at point R. So R is a point of contact. Diameter SQ, SQ is a diameter, is produced to meet the tangent TR at P. All right. Given angle SPR is equal to X. Which angle is X? Deko dhyan se. Just a second. Ha. Angle SPR. Okay. This angle is X degrees. And angle QRP. QRP. Okay. This is Q. If it is not clear, this is Q. QRP. So this angle, this complete angle is equal to y degrees all right prove that angle o r s this angle is y degree and write an expression connecting x and y okay they go better first thing first simple si baat hai. if it is a chord okay and this chord is making a tangent with this tangent an angle of y degree so in the alternate segment the angle will be same so in the alternate segment over here the angle will also be y degree all right first thing then I know OS and OR are both are equal to radius. So if they both are equal to radius, isosceles triangle, if that is why, this is also why. So I can clearly say angle ORS is equal to y degree. First one is very easy. Okay, what I have done? First thing I have told that sir angle OSR is equal to angle QRP. Both will be equal to y degree because of alternate segment theorem all right after that what you can do that sir we know since os is equal to or in triangle ors os is equal to or both are equal to radius so i can say sir angle osr is equal to angle ors both will be equal to ors both will be equal to y degrees as we have to prove in the first part okay first part the proof okay beta first part's proof is done okay so ors is equal to y degree now we need to write an expression which connects x and y okay so what we can do for that beta uh they go so different things we'll think okay whatever i know i will start writing it so they go beta by first thing i know ki sir ye angle jo hoga, this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 as well as this angle is also 90 so i can say ki ye jo part hoga, this one <clears throat> it will be equal to 90 minus y angle o r q will be 90 minus y and since o r and o q both are equal to radius so ye wala angle jo hoga beta ye bhi ho jayega 90 minus y all right so what i am saying angle o r p angle o r p is equal to 90 degree reason being radius at point of contact is perpendicular to tangent radius at point of contact is perpendicular to tangent okay so beta i know angle orp will be nothing but angle orq plus angle 
क्यू आर पी इज इक्वल टू नाइनटी डिग्री तो दिस इज इक्वल टू वाई सो एंगल ओ आर क्यू इज इक्वल टू नाइनटी माइनस वाई ऑल राइट देन आई सॉ दैट सर इन ट्राइंगल ओ क्यू आर ओके वी हैव ओ क्यू इज इक्वल टू ओ आर बोथ आर इक्वल टू रेडियस सो आई कैन से एंगल ओ क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू एंगल ओ आर क्यू बोथ विल बी इक्वल टू नाइनटी माइनस वाई this is one relation we have got all right beta so what we have got till now what we have got till now so we have got this angle as y this angle is also y okay this angle was given y this angle is given x i have got this angle as 90 minus y 90 minus y because 9 orp is 90 degree so this angle is also 90 minus y because it is an isosceles triangle ab beta if you will see for qpr for this triangle qpr this 90 minus y is an exterior angle so i can say now that sir in triangle listen carefully in triangle qpr qpr i can say angle oqr is equal to angle qpr plus angle qrp reason being exterior angle theorem for a triangle by the exterior angle 90 minus y Will be equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So this is x, this is y. So I can say 90 minus y is equal to QPR is equal to x, QRP is equal to y. Shift minus y over there, you'll get x plus 2y is equal to 90. So this is the equation connecting x and y. Simple. This is the equation connecting x and y. So the more you will focus on the diagram, the easier the question will become for you. All right. So first part we have proved very easily using. the uh, alternate segment theorem after that i have tried tried to find out as many angles as possible and then i applied the uh, the uh, exterior angle theorem in the uh, in the triangle qpr bas then i have got the relationship all right next question beta from point p outside the circle with center o tangents pa and pb are drawn theek okay? hai let's say this is a circle tangents pa and pb Are drawn. All right, very rough diagram. I'm drawing P A and P B. Okay, and this is your ray center. Suppose O. All right. So prove that angle A O P is equal to angle B O P. बहुत easy है बेटा. Very easy it is. है ना? I can say कि सर देखो, these two triangles I can prove congruent by in triangle A P O and triangle B P O. फर्स्ट थिंग ए पी इज इक्वल टू बी पी ठीक है पीओ इज द कॉमन साइड एंड ए ओ इज इक्वल टू बीओ बिकॉज इट इज इक्वल टू रेडियस एंड इट इज टेंजेंट फ्रॉम एन एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट आर इक्वल ठीक है मेनी वेज सो आई कैन से बाई एस 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 रूल ट्राइंगल ए पी ओ इज कॉन्ग्रोएंट टू ट्राइंगल बी पी ओ एंड इफ दे आर कॉन्ग्रोएंट आई कैन से एंगल ए ओ पी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी ओ पी ठीक है these two angles are equal this angle is equal to this angle also these two angles are also equal apo and bpo are also equal to each other now second part is what op is the perpendicular bisector of chord ab this line op will be acting as a perpendicular bisector of the chord ab well let's suppose this is the chord ab and let's say this is a point m so we need to prove for the second one first thing ab is perpendicular to op and then i have to prove that m is the midpoint of ab as well theek hai so for that beta what i am going to do is simple thing hai let's talk about the triangle in triangle a m o and triangle b m o by first thing beta i can say ki sir ao is equal to bo because both are equal to radius then i can say angle aom is equal to angle bom from result 1 by if aop and bop are equal aom and bom are also equal from result 1 all right theek hai and last om is the common side so which criteria Ang side angle side so i can say sir by side angle side rule triangle amo is congruent to triangle bmo now if these two triangles are congruent first thing i can say by cpct by cpct what i can say that am is equal to bm am and bm are equal first part proved theek hai second part beta how will i prove simple si baat hai bhai see 
I can say ये एंगल ए एम ओ एंड बी एम ओ विल ऑल्सो भी इक्वल लेटर से बोथ आर इक्वल टू एक्स डिग्री एंगल ए एम ओ इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी एम आई एम राइटिंग ओवर हियर इज इक्वल टू लेटर से एक्स डिग्री सो आई नो दे आर एडिसेंट एंगल सो एक्स प्लस एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एट डिग्री बिकॉज दे आर लीनियर पेयर सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइनटी डिग्री सो फ्रॉम हियर आई गॉट टू नो बोथ दिस एंगल सो नाइनटी डिग्री सो लेट्स दिस इज योर इक्वेशन वन फ्रॉम दिस इज टू सो आई कैन क्लियरली से so from 1 and 2 we can say op is the perpendicular bisector of the chord a theek hai from 1 and 2 the second result will be proved that op is the perpendicular bisector of chord ab because i have proved that am and bm are equal and the angle angle amo and domo are equal that means this line om is perpendicular to ab and if om is perpendicular to ab i can say op is also perpendicular to the ab theek hai so this is all the second part will be done very easy question next one In the following figure, PQ is tangent to the circle at A. PQ is tangent to the circle at A. DB is your diameter, and O is the center of the circle. All right. ADB is thirty. All right. Uh, CBD sixty. Calculate once. First angle QAB. They go these angle questions. The bus just focus on the diagram. You want angle QAB. A better. They go simple. If AB is a chord. Okay, so by alternate segment theorem, if it is equal to this angle, both these angles will be same. So I can say this angle will be thirty degree. So first one answer directly you got angle QAB is equal to angle ADB, which is equal to thirty degree. The reason is alternate segment theorem. Then you want the value of angle PAD. So for PAD also I can use the alternate segment theorem. Only thing is for that I want to find out the value. See if then this will be the chord. So alternate segment will be over here. So how much is this angle? Simple, eh, beta. If DB is a diameter, I can say this angle will be ninety degree. Angle at the semicircle is ninety degree. So I can clearly say that sir, angle second one ke liye for second one angle DAB. Is equal to 90 degree angle at semicircle. <laughs> angle at semicircle, and then I can say in triangle ADB, 30 degree plus 90 degree plus angle ABD is equal to 180. So you got angle ABD is equal to 60 degree. So if angle ABD is 60 degree, I can say angle PAD is equal to angle ABD is equal to 60 degree because of alternate segment theorem simple all right so second part is also done <coughs> this is 60 this will also be 60 <laughs> next one angle cdb cdb ab simple hai beta again bd is a diameter angle at the semicircle is 90 degree so if it is 90 if it is 60 the remaining part will be 30 degree done what else nothing <laughs> simple all right so this is how this question will be done simple question all right so this angle questions may focus more on the diagram the problems are going to be very easy all right this is your homework question for today's class think carefully how will you give the answer if pq is a tangent to the circle at r calculate angle prs and angle rot given o is the center of the circle and angle trq is 30 degree all right beta the next session will be on the topic mensuration okay no. so we'll see you tomorrow and as always gp pro is the code and right now 50 percentage off is going on so take care, take benefit of the scheme as soon as possible because this is a limited time offer and it can go any time all right so this will be the price for all the subjects as you can see the price is very 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 less all right so thank you so much bachcho for coming to the session and uh, please don't mind my voice today i'm not feeling well uh, so that is my voice is bit different so this is all thank you so much bachcho for coming to the session and please don't forget to like the video share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new here thank you so much i'll see you soon bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye